Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Gamefront here with a character guide for one of my favorite characters in PlayStation All-Stars, Nathan Drake. This video will cover all of Drake's moves, talk about his pros and cons as a character, some basic combos you should know, and how to use his supers to rack up kills. So let's start with an overview of Drake as a character in PlayStation All-Stars. He's a very interesting character due to his very unorthodox moveset that makes him able to build lots of AP from both close and mid-range. He's best in free-for-alls where he can constantly disrupt the action with his explosive barrels, grenades, and magnum shots, but he's no slouch in a 1 vs 1 fight either. His square attacks are his melee attacks, with the exception of one. Neutral square is a signature 3 hit combo that will knock the enemy away and give a nice 30 AP if all 3 hits land. Forward square is a superman punch and is Drake's most valuable move from close range. It's fairly quick, covers good distance, knocks an enemy to the floor, and allows for a follow-up with a down-square-forward-square combo. Down-square is another great move as it also covers a good distance, and can combo into a superman punch or an up-triangle grenade blast depending on when you hit. I think it also can go under a few attacks, but I'm not positive on that. Up-square throws a grenade which is only really useful for when there's a lot of action going on in a corner, and you're able to just continuously lob them down until they decide to stop playing without you. Moving on now to his triangle attacks, Drake's neutral triangle brings out an assault rifle for a 3 round burst. More importantly, is the ability to press triangle, then move forward to get a longer burst and accumulate more AP. You can also punctuate this attack by pressing square at the end of the burst to use a melee attack. This is a good move to use after a successful down square or neutral circle. Forward triangle is one of Drake's best moves in a free for all. It can be used to punctuate many of Drake's combos, can blow up barrels prematurely, and is a great way to gain easy AP while other fighters' attentions are not devoted to you. Down Triangle calls out Drake's Gatling Gun. This is a dangerous move to use due to its long animation, and I personally don't like to use it that much, but it can give you a nice amount of AP if you use it against an unsuspecting group. Up Triangle is Drake's Grenade Launcher. Like Up Square Grenades, this is a good move to use against enemies in a corner who aren't paying attention to you. It can also be used after a down square slide attack, depending on where it hits. Neutral Circle is arguably Drake's best move. He kicks out a barrel, which gives a meager 10 AP if it rolls into an enemy, and 30 if it explodes on them. When the barrel hits, it generally will knock the enemy up into range for a magnum or assault rifle blast. When you knock an enemy down, make sure to drop the barrel so it gives them something else to worry about on their wake up. You can only have one barrel out at a time though, but as soon as it disappears, you're free to drop another. As a Drake player, it is in your best interest to almost always have a barrel rolling whenever possible. Forward Square is a tranquilizer gun that slows down enemies for a period of time. If you ever feel like you're not annoying enough with the constant barrels, make it a conscious effort to blast people with these every now and then. Down Square is a very unique move that puts Drake behind cover. While behind cover, you cannot be hit by regular attacks from the front. Pressing Square will do a melee attack, Triangle will cause you to fire a 3 round burst, up square will throw a grenade with a fuse, and up triangle will use the grenade launcher. You can also jump over and switch the side that the cover is on. Up circle creates a zip line which Drake can use to cover lots of horizontal distance and build some safe AP if he crashes into any enemies. Most of Drake's moves are the same when used in the air, but let's go over some of the exceptions. Aerial neutral square is a quick kick that knocks an enemy up into the air. Aerial forward square is a powerful drop kick that gives 30 AP. Short range and it's kind of tough to hit with, but effective if you landed. Aerial down square spikes an enemy that is in the air or briefly stuns an enemy that is on the ground, allowing for a follow up combo. Aerial neutral triangle causes Drake to wall run while firing his assault rifle. The AP gain here is meager, but this is a good way to interrupt enemies in the air and cover some horizontal distance. Aerial down triangle causes Drake to fire an Uzi underneath him for 10 AP. Aerial Neutral Circle gives him more time to follow up the barrel hit, which makes it highly recommendable to use the Aerial version with the short hop rather than the ground version. Aerial Down Circle causes the ground to crumble beneath Drake, with the debris hitting anyone it touches. Good way to break into a fray and also safely roll out of the middle. Now let's go over Drake's super attacks. His level 1 super has Drake throwing out an explosive canister that will explode after a second press of a button. This can be a devastating level 1 super, easily capable of getting 3 kills if you're able to get on the outside of a crowded group. Note that it will not hit enemies directly in front of you no matter how quick you explode the canister. The great thing about this move is that unlike many level 1 supers, it can cross platforms and be used from above to below, making it very versatile. 
His level 2 causes Drake to topple a giant pillar that will take out any who touch it. This is a fantastic move to use against enemies stuck in a corner, since they can't really do anything to escape it. Note though that they will have plenty of time to get out of the way if they're far enough away from the base, and have enough room to back up. Drake's level 3 turns all enemies into zombies, and gives Drake a gun that can kill them with one shot. The zombies can jump and attack to try to evade and slow Drake down, but it's very hard to do. You can also use the old Castlevania trick of short hopping, firing in the air, and then firing again right after you touch the ground for some extra shots. Note that your bolts don't go through walls, so take this into consideration. If you're playing on a large level with lots of places to hide from the bullets, you might want to just stick with a level 1 or 2. As for combos, here are a few bread and butter combos that you should use whenever you get into a close range fight. All in all, Drake is a top tier character in my eyes, and it's a great choice for anyone looking for a unique, but still very viable playstyle in PlayStation All-Stars. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.